Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was saying that uh, when there is a big, uh, a big noise or a blast, the dogs uh, get really scared because they're very sensitive. But they try, uh, many times they escape, they run away. So that's what happens with his dog, actually. So the idea is that the dog runs away, so that's why we look for him. That's not a metaphor for uh, digging, uh, for the reasons why the boy uh, shoot himself for... No metaphors. No, no, no metaphors. Not even one. Not even one. No. Please. Um, <laughs> And um, so, and, but the, the comedy tone is made by misunderstandings, um, uh, things that are not, they are, uh, we've got questions that are not answered, the answers are not given. Um, was was the, the, the script, uh, um, was it constructed for a long time? Was it very precise? Yeah, usually um, the way I work is I, it takes me a, a long time to write a script and then usually I don't change many things, especially the dialogues. I don't change the dialogues uh, during the, the shoot, almost never, sometimes in rehearsals a little bit, almost nothing. I try to, because for me, the reason is like I don't like to repeat words. I like to create some sort of a melody with the with the dialogue, and um, and uh, also even when, when I'm writing, I already I'm already thinking of uh, the spiel and the the time between one line and the next, and the pause between uh, an answer, uh, you know, a question and an answer. So those are things that I, I really plan uh, very carefully, and we rehearse a lot with the actors. Before the shoot. And what about the sounds? Because the sounds play an important, uh, they have an important role in the plot. The sounds of the mo of the cellulars, the sounds yeah. of the alarm clock. Yeah, of course I think uh, I think a lot about those things, but that, that comes a little bit of a, as a surprise afterwards because you never know how you know you you. Those are things that I I I can't picture so well uh, when I'm writing. It's uh, it's part of of. Uh, well, I, I try to be very, you know, I try to plan a lot of things, but at the same time I like to leave a lot of things out of control. Like, for example, the rhythm of the film is something I, I don't know about when I'm writing and when I'm shooting. It's something that comes out only at the end of the editing and, and, and the sound is the same for me. It's like the idea of how, you know, the musics and the, and the, and the ringtones and the, all the sounds that there are in the film. Is something that, of course, I, I, I don't know beforehand, and it's 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 part of the of of yeah of, of the surprise for me. It's, it's, it's what I look forward when I make a movie to see to see what's going to be different from everything that I carefully planned. And we are always surprised. We never know what is going to happen next in the script. Uh, no, I, in, we, in, in, in the, the film. Uh, yeah, no. yeah. Well, I know because I wrote the script, no. of course. <laughs> but so I have to be surprised by other things. <laughs> But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's kind of uh, it's not. I guess it's not very predictable. The film. It's. Uh, I guess. And I hope. Yeah. No, no, but the camera. It looks. Uh, the camera is uh, is there always observing, mm -hmm. the reactions. So what people say. The reactions. The reactions of the others. Yeah, I try not to interfere too much. Uh, I, I try to interfere as little as I can with what's going on in front of the camera, and to. But also, I try not to be. I, I don't like to make um, like a plan séquence, like mm -hmm. a long shots, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like virtuous, you know, because I I think those things would call too much attention mm -hmm. uh, to themselves. And I think in the film there is a lot of information mm -hmm. in the dialogues. There is a lot of things being said that I want the audience to understand. And also, there are a lot of characters, a lot of locations. So I try to be as simple as possible when with everything else. But they, all the characters, they are very, I, we could say, idiosyncratic. Uh, they, they have, um, uh, one uh, uh, likes to ride his car along the beach, uh, the other one... So yeah. they, they all have, um, the other one uh, is impelled to steal things, the other, they all have something the, that their is... Their own personality, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, I but, think it's important. But in the end, it, 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 it's, it's funny. Hopefully, because I, <laughs> I wanted it to be somehow fun. In the beginning, when I when I started making the film, as you can see in the from the first scene, I didn't want to make um, a, fu a film with, with with humor. Actually, because uh, I was in in my previous film, I was 
uh, really working towards mm. comedy somehow. Mm. And in this film, in, when I started working in the project, I said to myself, I have to stop. Uh, I, I, I have to make something different. I want to make a contemplative movie, very dry and and arid and with, with no humor at all. And that's what I tried, but then I but couldn't help you but know, the, getting more But there more. is also the, the uh, seriousness. They all look look like they are very serious. Well, I think you cannot you you cannot say funny things when you are not serious. It, it, otherwise it would, you know, they would be they would be uh like silly, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like um in order to I think in order to make a comedy, you have to have serious acting and the actress should should not be aware so much of what is so funny actually. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I think we could open uh, the discussion to the audience. Uh, thank you for your film. It's a very uh, powerful depiction of alienation, I found. Uh, these people are not communicating or best desire is for the frozen muscles. And I was wondering, you said there's no metaphors, but there is searching in holes, searching for the, uh, burying the gun, then putting, where, putting the, the, looking for the cell phone in the drawer. And there is uncovering things. And I was just wondering, are they, search, is there something that they're missing that they actually know that they're missing? Are these characters conscious that there's a hole in their, in their uh, well, lives? I, I, be I believe that the characters are not very conscious of themselves. I mm -hmm. believe that they, they are really not self-conscious. They, they just act. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, actually what happens in the beginning with, with the boy finding the gun and then using it as you are supposed to use a gun without really reflecting on what the 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 consequence would be in a way you no know? for me that's that's the way all the characters uh, behave somehow with with very little self awareness but they they are burying things they are burying uh, are but getting just, away just they're burying because they just want things not to be found but that's all not there is nothing psychological or metaphorical or at least not from their side and from my point of view, maybe, you know, of course, as, as an audience or as a spectator, you could, you know, find as many uh, metaphors and as many interpretations as, as you like. Mm -hmm. And I won't be interfering with that at all. I mean, that's, uh, of course, it's your privilege. And, uh, and, and, and I like to have many different uh, uh, visions of, 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 of my films, of course, but, but it's not part of my intention. But is, am I right in seeing, would you agree that this is a very dark film? Uh, uh, and that the sounds, the sounds of the flutes, the sounds of the phones, they're discordant. I mean, there's, the, the film is discordant. Well, it is discordant because you have a, like a second uh, sound in the flute of the, of the, of, of Mariano, one mm -hmm. of the main characters. But uh, for me, the, the, um, the ancient uh, ancient music that you hear is beautiful music. I really like it. Mm -hmm. I used to be uh, in a um, in a flute quartet when I was uh, Mar Mariano's age or a little older, maybe like when I was 19. And I loved that music. I loved being part of a music quartet. Of course, there is this this second sound that you hear that makes everything kind of awkward. And uh, yeah, that's uh, and, and it's the part of the universe. And the fa and the phone sounds that are continuous. The yeah, alarms. Yeah, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it is dark. <laughs> you would agree it's dark. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter if I agree. More questions. <laughs> hey, just one question. <laughs> Can I ask one question? Yeah. Uh, were you were you inspired by by uh, Camus, uh, the stranger? Because when he when he says when he shoots himself and he says he doesn't know why and he says he shoots himself because it's it was hot and it just reminded me of the stranger by Camus. It's How true. It's true. But I read that book when I was very young. I, I really wasn't. I'm, if if I was inspired, I'm not aware of it. But you're right. Um, I, I read it when I was like 17, I think, and never again. But uh, but I don't I don't think it was an influence on me really. It's, Okay. Maybe, yeah. yeah, I guess I just saw it because I, I thought it was a lot about alienation and lack of meaning and mm. uh, I don't know, I just, mm. I thought it was an yeah, interesting. Yeah, you know, for me it's not so much about alienation or, or, lack, of, or lack of meaning, but 
th I, I tend to think more positively than that, I think. Uh, it's more about constructing something with what you have, more than mm -hmm. n uh, missing what you not have, in a way. So it's like I, I try to see it from the other side. <laughs> Hello. Um, similar to the uh, last question, um, characters do seem very apathetic. Um, I did not necessarily connect this to L'Etranger, but um, I, I, it, I find it hard to believe that this isn't somewhat deliberate in that things seem to happen um, for for no reason and an automatic pilot sometimes um, the way uh, stories are told and and the way scenes follow each other the way paths intertwine um, I find it hard to believe that um, you'd say th that there are not many metaphors to the movie and not a um, a central theme, at least, not a message, but a theme. Yeah, okay, I understand. Uh, but what, what can I say? I mean, it's like, you just said that you don't believe what I say. Uh, <laughs> it's like, it's like no, a no, comment, no, it's not a question. That. I answered that before, so if, if, you, if there is a question there, please ask it. On, or yes, my question was, um, if, um, I'm sorry, did, did you, also, you also wrote the plot, right? Yes, uh, the script. Um, yeah, my, my, my question is then, um, the film has no central message whatsoever. Is that it? Are you talking about from, from your point of view, yes. I'm, it's, it's, wait, uh, it's, a, it's a storytelling. It's not delivering a message. It's a storytelling. It's a story that's been told. So it's not, it's not, uh, it's not delivering a message. If I, if I had to deliver a message, it would be much simpler. But I understand what you say, and, uh, but it, it's, it's, it's not, I, I think no, no film is, is delivering a message. A film is much more complex than that, usually. There are many things being said, many things been, being told, there's a story, there are many stories, there are many characters that you see on screen. Okay, so yeah, the okay. message is what, e what each person perceives then, yeah. No, uh, thank you, That's, thank you. that was it. Hello. One of the things I like most in a film is you use the silence, for instance, in the park with the characters, then you use Mariano with his voice, and then you use like the mother with a lot of voice. I do this because of this and that and that. And the, my main question is wh why you use this? You use this before writing the script or during the movie? And if you work a lot with these three kinds of narration, the the Mariano voice, the mothers, and the silence, and how you manage these three things. Um, Thank ag you. Again, again, the question, uh, I, I, I think I didn't... Oh, sorry, yeah. probably I no, no. didn't explain myself very well. Okay, I thought there are three layers of narrations, or I try to identify them. One is the, the silence. I think the scenes with the silence are very strong. Mm -hmm. In the park, in the terrace with these two brothers, at the beach and so on. So there are very long, large sequences with the silence. There are also sequences with the Mariana voices. Mm -hmm. Voice over, you mean the voice over? The yeah, narration? voice the narration. over, exactly. Yes. Yes. And then there are few other scenes when the people or the characters need to explain everything. Mm -hmm. I did this because of this and that and that. What I'm trying to, uh, uh, qu my question is, you did this before, writing the script during the film mm -hmm. and how you can manage how you why is the reason you use so different ways to tell the story okay. i think yeah. i'm yeah, more I clear this understand. time yeah, thank you thank and you. sorry yeah. no 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 it's very clear uh i like a narration a voiceover in the beginning in the script the voiceover wasn't mariano's voiceover it was his brother's but um 
when I finished the editing, I tried uh, uh, his brother's voiceover, Ezekiel's voiceover, and I kind of didn't like the way it worked. So I decided to change, and I asked the actor who played Mariano to record the voiceover. I changed, of course, uh, some, you know, um, uh, a little bit of the, of course, I had to adapt it. Um, and I liked it better in that way. I liked that the point of view from the voice uh, was uh, Mariano's somehow. <coughs> um, and then, of course, there is the, the dialogues. There is a lot of dialogue in the film and the silent parts of the film. Those things, of course, I, I, the dialogues, I, I, I work a lot with that during the writing and, and during the rehearsals. And the silent is something that I really cannot control so much because I never know how, how long the scenes are going to be. And so that's part of the rhythm that comes afterwards. And it's part of the, it, it, it comes in the editing. Uh, and it, it really, it's what really gives the, the film the, the rhythm it, uh, that it has at the end. And, and it's what, as I said before, it's what really surprises me in a way. And what, what uh, uh, it, it's it's that w what makes me discover the film again once the film is finished in the editing. So, so those are d different 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 levels, as as you mentioned uh, correctly. Yes. Bienvenido. Não pode ser espanhol, fria. Não sei se toda a gente. Okay, um, about building the characters, I, I don't think there's uh, there are many dialogues in the in the movie. Um, I think silence, I, I I think silence was, for me, uh, um, a bigger part in in the movie. But there's one thing you never get to know any of the characters, so the story just goes on. It's like uh, somos lo que hay. Uh, uh, it's a living life with what we have, okay. Uh, but is it on purpose that you 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 did that? Never to know any character, in uh, in its. Um, I I don't know. I I, I didn't quite get. Uh, for example, the, the the crazy woman, the one uh, nobody wanted around. I didn't get to know Lucia very much. I didn't get to know Mariano very much. Is it on purpose? You you don't exploit the any. Uh, I mean, all of them are uh, um, like uh, the the stars of the movie. There's not one central character in the movie. Yeah, the, the idea was making a movie, um, yeah, with with many. Uh, actually, for me, the the, the the central the central character of the movie is the family. The family with three people: Susana, Mariano, and Ezequiel. Mm -hmm. And the stories are all around these three people. So, yeah, that's that's basically what it is. But was it on purpose not to exploit not to have much? One. In my previous films, I have. I, I used to have one central character and uh, a lot of characters that were like surrounding one character, and and that and, and and the story was the story of that central character. In this film, I think you know since I have three central characters, the, the there are many more stories, uh, many digressions, and um, and um, in a way, yeah, it was on purpose to explore more, you know, to have a more expand expanded uh, universe than in my previous. Uh, Movies and um, and what you said about the um, the the silence, I think that you feel more the silence because there is a lot of dialogue as well. So when since there is a lot of dialogue, then when there is silence, you feel the silence somehow. Okay. No? Otherwise, if the film was a silent movie or, or a film with a very little dialogue, then this, you take the silence for granted somehow. No, I, I think maybe that's the reason. <coughs> I, I just wanted to comment on the eating and sleeping because a, a lot of the story is structured as eating and sleeping. Yeah. And um, we do that a lot, don't we? We do, we do. <laughs> and and it's, it's almost like the human beings are denuded to their most basic choices without any external. Uh, you see, just nakedly, they're looking for a place to sleep and they want to eat. And but the food is all fast food. Yeah, and is. and and uh, I can't help thinking that is a comment also on this alienated world because they don't have c 
connection to naturally made food. Well, but maybe, <laughs> but you know, if there is such a comment, maybe it's really you know in the very very back of my mind. If 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 there is such a comment. So maybe there is. I, I maybe you know. The, the supermarket at the beach doesn't even have natural beach food. It's all from all over the world. Well, they went. They go to the. They went to buy mussels, and they only find frozen mussels. Right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But uh, yeah. But I. I don't mean that as a comment. But I find it kind of. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like uh, I like the idea of just finding. It's not that I like eating frozen mussels. Uh, especially here in Portugal, but um, but I like the idea of just going to the beach and finding and only finding frozen mussels. I think it's it's you know I, I, I went to holidays in Brazil in an island where there were no cars or anything, and when you went to to eat uh, fish, they would open the freezer and they just you know get the free, the fish from the freezer and they would cook it. So, and that was in a completely isolated place, like there were no cars, no electricity. Well, electricity, yes, because no, they had a generator, I think. I don't know, but uh, but uh, that's I think that's the way it is in, in most places. Not in Portugal, maybe because this is a very <laughs> very special place <laughs> where things are more equality is more. Uh, is more um, valued, but in in most of the world, you just are like there with uh, junk food everywhere. Uh, yeah, I've never been to Argentina, and this gave me a vision of Argentina that was very particular. That, uh, uh, but don't uh, you know? Don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, films are films. It's like you know. I'm, uh, I'm just one person making. No, one no, but film it's very interesting. It's, a, it's I, that's why I it's a day no, of, course, of course, you will see some <laughs> things that are like that in Argentina, mm -hmm. but just some things will coincide and others won't. So it's no, it's a very strong slant. I mean, I, I, of course, it's exaggerated on purpose. I could see. You know, it's not uh, yeah, 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 yeah. a portrait. Um, yeah, and also, why does she keep getting rejected from all the hotels? Is it just because the hotels are full, or yeah. is she being rejected? No, no, they are full. They are full. They are full. Yeah. I was just curious because she full. is. She was being rejected before, you know. No, so. no, no. She was being rejected uh, for personal reasons uh -huh. before, but then in the hotels, it's just business. It's like it's 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 business reasons. They are full. And and is the dog the dog? Huh? Is good the question. dog the dog? That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean we use the same dog, uh, ah. but that doesn't mean that it's the same dog. No, it's it's. A I mean, it's a question for for them. I mean, is it the, is, is it the same dog? I mean, we we shot with the same dog, but. He doesn't even know if it's the same. Yeah, it's like the film ends like in a weak spot somehow. For because there is, the, uh, we don't know if the dog is the dog, so that story is really not closed. And then, and then I didn't want to finish the film with that story because it would be like uh, like making it too important. So I, I went to the character that for me was the weak, the, the weakest character, which is Ezekiel from the family, because the mother is really taken by the the the, the kids. Uh, Trying to, you know, getting the gun and, and shooting himself twice, and, the, and and Mariano, he's the one who shoots himself twice. So Ezekiel is really more like the weakest for me, and so I wanted to finish the film with him and uh, also with a doubt somehow. Um, for me, the end of a movie is like the most important, the beginning and the end are the most important parts, and um, because they are, they give you the key of what the movie is. But it's a it's a tender ending because it's it, you see the he he actually was looking for the girl, so he has this desire. Maybe he's not he wasn't looking for her, but he sees her and and he and and there is there is there is some uh, yeah some longing. Uh, yeah, longing. That's a word. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't even know if it's her, and and it's not it's not that he lets her go. It's like she's not there anymore when he looks again.